Hello and welcome to the Mal and Johnny Show. Well, it's award season. We've had the BAFTAs on the weekend. We've already had the Grammys and the Oscars are yet to come. Watching avidly has been our Johnny Tudor. And you've been quite moved by the whole thing as well, haven't you? Yeah, and I was watching the uh, uh, boy Fox. What was his first name? Michael J. Uh, Michael, Michael J. Fox. J. Fox. Yeah, he he was in the um, Back to the Future. And the poor boy's got um, Parkinson's disease mm. very badly. And he's, he's had it since he's young. Yeah. I mean, he's only 60 now, I think, or 62. Right. And he's like really... Because my friend Emily Squires, Dorothy's niece, she's got it. And um, she's not as bad as him. But she gets times when, where she completely freezes, like, and her brain won't make him... Cut, she can't move anything. The brain won't tell her legs to move. It's really weird. Yeah. And then once the pills start to work, she can start going again. I've just taken her for a walk down the beach. But we just found out in the paper last week and on the news that there's a new thing out now. Instead of taking the tablets, which can be hit and miss, you know, you've got to put, take them every uh, so many hours and if you miss one, blah, blah, blah. This is more like a little machine that, injects the drug into the skin a bit like the, the diabetics have got one right similar and apparently it's and they've just they've just passed it in nhs london right in england and they're trying it out on a thousand people in england wow. well you know yeah i don't know when it'll come to wales but hopefully yeah, soon soon, soon the better. <laughs> and you, you do see these remarkable things like there there's some sort of like electronic things with you know stimulating parts of the brain where people who are very very rigid all of a sudden they can they're, move. They're free yeah. again. It's 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 like a miracle happening in front of your eyes. Well, I hope so. So when when Emily goes, I suppose once you lose your confidence with walking, um, yeah. you're always a little bit worried that you're going to stumble and fall, aren't you? Well, that's, that's like, right. That's like that's life. Right. And she has, oh, and she has fallen a few times in the house, you know, and I've had to go down and pick her up because luckily she lives not far from me, you know. Right. right, um, right. But um, anyway, she's soldiering on, as they yeah, say. Okay. But going back to the. Um, the awards. I thought it was quite entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> they all they all say that this um, Oppenheimer is too long, don't they? Yeah. It's like three and a half hours long or something. Yeah. Um, but it's obviously a very good film, but a very dour subject, though. You know, it's guy, not, it's not rocket yeah. suicide, didn't he? It's not rocket science, is it? Well, well, no. actually, well actually, it is rocket science. Sorry, it is rocket yeah, yeah, science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My son, who's got an astrophysics degree, always says that. He says, it's not rocket science, but if it was, I could do it anyway. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, my boy loves it. And he's seen it, I think he's seen it about three or four times. You know, it just takes a little while because there's so much detail. This Killian Murphy guy, he's he's brilliant, isn't he? You know, from oh, Piggy yeah. Blinders to Oppenheimer, he's just... Oh. He's got this good face, doesn't he? That look, I mean, in a way, it looks like a 1930s, 40s face, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that look about yeah, him, you know. Yeah. He's yeah. Irish guy, isn't he? He's Irish. Yeah, but when you hear him and when you see him, you know, he looks like a kid. He looks like a kid. Yeah, and, he's, he's, and he sounds he very Irish. Small. He's not just a little bit Irish. He's very Irish. He's very Irish. <laughs> and I think he's about five foot six by the looks of him, yeah. up against some of the women he was talking to. <laughs> hey, what about um, him in the kilt? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Now I've got to say, my again the same boy who watched Oppenheimer used to work on Doctor Who, and yeah. and sort of my daughter actually they both worked with David Tennant. He was one of their Doctor Who's. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they loved him. They absolutely Apart loved him. Oh, he, he looks a lovely bloke. I mean, he's really and I like the way he presented. There was no messing about. He just went for it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. those award ceremonies can be a little bit. I'd like to thank my agent. I'd like to, you know. Oh, I know. Have you have you ever seen the um, cat? Yeah, have you ever seen uh, oh, Ricky Gervais when he did? Some awards in in, a, in he did the Oscars, uh, didn't he? Did he? And he was just like, yeah, oh, <laughs> come up irreverent. here, <laughs> Just thank you. Don't thank you, God. Just thank you. And then I did, he, <laughs> <laughs> and he just abused the audience. I can't. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. for like twenty minutes, and it was very funny, but quite close to the mark, and probably quite close to the truth as well. So, um, well, that's right. You yeah. See, yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah. so did you sit there all night and watch the Baftas? Yeah, I watched them all. Oh, okay. I mean, I've I've been in a few award ceremonies, so I won my own award. Come on, and the winner is Johnny Tudor. Uh, the winner is Johnny Tudor. I won the Gibraltar Song Festival, didn't I? Yeah. And um, Canucks Lazoot in in Belgium, I did that one as well. They're quite they're quite nerve wracking because you're like on a NA, you don't know. Yeah. And then there's, we used to do all these in Jersey when I was doing the summer seasons. The Variety Club of Great Britain right. used to do the best awards for the best shows on the island, the best singer, the best all round entertainer, the best this, that, 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 that. Yeah. And I was up for a few of those. I got a couple of those. Nice. Um, but you're sitting there amongst, in a big hotel with a lot of people and you, you, you know, you, am I going to get this? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, and then the Oscars and everything, they always put the four people up, don't they? And all their faces and they're all very. Uh, yeah, they're and, all oh. laughing and clapping. 
Oh, well, well, well done, well done, you. Yeah, he, hey, he shouldn't yeah, have won yeah, it. Yeah. That was that should have been me. Yeah, well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you see the Grammys? Did you see oh, did you see the did Grammys at all? Do you see the no, Grammys at all? No, I didn't see the Grammys. Yeah, was a Are they of, good? No, well, I don't. I must admit, I can't really sit through a whole night of awards. I'm just too jealous. But um, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, you get the highlights, don't you? And there were a couple of really yeah. strong highlights from the Grammys. They had uh, Tracy, not Tracy, uh, oh, oh man, it was Tracy Chapman who did um, right. Fast Car. You know, and she did it with a, a sort of like a, a younger sort of country singer. And it was fant- it was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Then the, um, they had Joni Mitchell on. She won her first Grammy in forty years. <laughs> like that. Well, they had, they had Billy Joel on as well. Didn't Billy they? Joel, didn't they? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, it's um, it's in in many ways the highlights are almost almost better than the actual because these these ceremonies they've also got like hours and hours of stuff when they're doing all this like special effects da 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 That's you know right. wardrobe yeah. and that you just don't don't get to see but it's a it's a big night for people isn't it when you walk oh, away yeah. with an academy and they do it they, they do it with the Oscars around uh, earlier today you know they mm-hmm. go back and do like yeah. as you say yeah. for lighting yeah. and for this that and the other yeah yeah I saw I saw That's Damon right. uh, not Damon uh, Matt Damon talking about winning his he won his first Oscar when he was you know early 20s yeah, and he, and he said he took it home. Well, that film was when he was a mathematician, I think, yeah. wasn't it? Is that the one? Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. That's right. Yeah, yeah. with the Swansea girl, Mini Mini oh, Driver, right. Mini Driver, a dad from Swansea. Yeah. Is she from Swansea? Well, a, a dad was a dad from Swansea. She's a good singer, you know. Is she? Oh, haven't you heard her singing? I haven't heard her singing. She is no. a good singer. In fact, she was a bit of a country singer. I mean, she's made albums and everything. I was surprised by how good she was, you know. Wow, okay. Um, well, yeah, and uh, he, he, you know, he just said he took took it home, you know, he's, he's put it on the table, you know. And he's, right. He's thinking, is that it? Is that it? You know, because <laughs> it, it does change your life, but it doesn't change you. If, you, if you've got an Oscar-shaped hole, then maybe it does fill something, but it's just an award, you know. And he said he, he was he was glad he had it so early, because if he'd been waiting till he was 70 or 80 years old to get an Oscar, uh, yeah. and then you get it and you feel, is that it? He said uh-huh. it might have been a waste of a whole life. Mind you, you can say that when you've won an Oscar when you're 20-something, aren't you? You can say that. Do you remember Spike Milligan when he got the award for the Outstanding Performance or something? No. When he was, like, nearly 80. And he came up on stage and he went, the first thing he said, about bloody time. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he was a character. And it was, it, it, it was, there was an award presented by Prince Charles. who was a man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he said... It was a letter from from Prince Charles. Yeah. They, re- they read it out, yeah. and he went, "The groveling little bastard." He said, <laughs> he said "I suppose the night turns out the window now." <laughs> That's oh, good. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it's an odd odd thing, but uh, obviously we don't care about any awards that we haven't won. It's, it wasn't important. We're glad the other people won them. As long as we're working, hey, you're doing a gig next. Is oh, it next week? Oh yes, next. It's a uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. All Souls wow. Lying in Place. Now it's been a little while, Johnny, since I did my last concert. In fact, probably whole well, concert. Came, actually, you, yeah, you, there was you October. Were in the ground, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that was with a band, so that was like. But uh, you know, I was doing a whole series up until then. I was doing a whole series of one man concerts, and you get into mm. a swing, but it's like, oh gosh, got to go up the mountain again now and it's it's hard pacing a show isn't it do you do you know what you you know do you sit down there with a piece of paper and work it all out again or have you got a set list now that you do i got a lot of set stuff i can i do mm. uh, but i i always think you have to have a story about a, about an act if yeah. you know what i mean yeah it's got to be a, a form to it not just song 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 yeah. and not like three ballads and three you've got to have some kind of uh i always like to open up with a, a bright up tempo number right and then, um, and then I'll talk to the audience, and then, then I'll do my little song and dance, which is different. Yes. Uh, and then I'll do perhaps a couple of little gags or impressions to break it up. Then I'll do a medley of stuff, and I just like to keep it flowing, not yeah. just all the same. You know, you keep it mean? fresh. Every so often, there's something different to look at. Yeah. Li- yeah, yeah. And whenever you go and see, I, I worked with quite a few big stars in the old days, and I used to watch them, and they used to like Dorothy Spice was it? It was her life she was singing about, yeah. and you could tell because the songs were when you lose the one you love. You know what I mean? So straight away, <laughs> they grudge you more. <laughs> but it, it, it <laughs> but I think if you've got a story behind it, I mean, you've got stuff that you've done. We'll say with. When you were a kid with uh, Elton John, yes, yes, so you can do a bit about that, and you can say when I first started, I did da, 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 and do that bit, yeah. and then you can say, with it, or you can open with an up tempo. This is my latest bang, yeah, um, and just pace it. That's the pace answer. It. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Because um, so, what I do when I go as a one man show, I I take a big screen, 
And so the videos I've done, so if I've got the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra on a track, I will, yeah. it's not exactly, I was a bit worried it might be karaoke originally, but if, you, yeah. if you're singing live and playing live and there's yeah. visuals behind you on a big screen, actually, I think, I think it just makes it a bit, a bit less boring. <laughs> no, the thing is, it's a, they're all doing it. I mean, they, they do this thing of where they bring Elvis back to life, don't oh, yeah, they? And yeah, Sinatra. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got the big screens. Yeah. Yes. And then they've got the orchestra on stage. Yes. And you actually think you're watching an Elvis concert. Yeah. Because yeah. he's there and the music's live. Yeah. And it, it, it gives you the live feel. You see, so that's a good idea, I reckon. There's just trouble with screens, isn't it? I, I look after the um, a couple of lounges for the Ospreys now. They're going to be. The Ospreys, and yeah. um, I was there on Sunday, and so I sat, you know, in a lovely chair, and there's the whole, there's the whole of the pitch in front of me, and there's Ulster one side, and there's the Ospreys the other side, and then they've got these two great big screens, right, right, which also show the game, and then it's also yeah. on the TV because it's being shown live. I found mm. myself, I found myself looking at the TV. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's out there. It's like I'm, I'm looking at the TV rather than going. Oh, there, there's the road. It's funny, you can get caught up in a screen, can't you, those big screens? Well, exactly. And I think these big concerts in, in like, a stadium, mm. you're looking at television. There's a, this little speck like that <laughs> a thousand miles away. Yeah. And you're not looking at you. So I, I don't I'm not care. I don't like big venues like that. Yeah. If I'm going to see somebody perform, I want to see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in a proper theatre with a proscenium arch. Yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to go, I went to see Sammy Davis at the Palladium. Oh. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, I mean... Uh, and things like that, you can't, you've got to see them up close, haven't you? Mm, I'm just going to cough for a second. Sorry, I didn't want to disturb anybody. Um, and the other things now, I'm bringing um, Steve Balsam was coming up, so he's going to do a couple of songs as well. Oh, great. But, right. but it's, it's a week to go, and I don't know which songs yet. It'll be fine. Oh, It'll well, be you, fine. well, what, no, well, the thing is, what did you do in Swansea? We, Pick we, out the best of the stuff you did in Swansea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, arrange it in a, in a, in a, a pacey fashion, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the other thing is, when you do, because it's part of Wales Week London, I'm getting some support. Yeah. I'm getting some support, Johnny. I'm getting some support from, from local businesses, you know, promoting themselves in, in that environment. So low-cost vans are giving me a van to go back and forth, Good. which is nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, Swansea Building Society are... are uh, supporting oh. me in, you know, in the yeah, way the Building Society was. So thank you very much to them. And uh, I, I popped along yesterday to Penderin Whiskey. Uh, I've never tasted it. Is it good? It's lovely. It's lovely. It's very yeah. smooth, very smooth. But mm. they've got, um, they've got, they were up in Penderin alone, just, um, you know, by Dowlice. Oh, yeah, but yeah. now they've taken over the Copper Works in Swansea, in the old Copper, uh, Copperopolis area, down by the Liberty Stadium or the Swansea.com stadium now. And they've got the stills yeah. there. I had, a, I had a quick look around. But because because whiskey looks so you know beautiful in a bottle, they've made the yeah. whole place look fantastic. It's all coppery, and then they do these different you know different oak barrels and sherry barrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the 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 whiskey takes on a slightly different flavour, but a very different colour. Oh uh, right. And, they, and and so I mean, they give me a miniature bottle of whiskey for everybody who comes to the concert. Oh wow! Uh, You're the man. You are. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'll have to get you on board when I do my next one man show. You have to get me some sponsors. <laughs> I've sold. I've sold my corporate show. No, but it's lovely. The great thing is they are people I sort of known and have worked with before, and they they want to support me. And you that's, know that's, that's good. It, which is fun, which is fantastic, and I'm ever ever so grateful for that. So how yeah, big is the venue? It's only two hundred people. So the, oh, there's the, right. there's the church itself, which is you know ginormous but they've got this big room downstairs and um hmm. do you know <laughs> so i was just checking doing some technical checks this week you know so do you have any staging or any risers because it's a it's it's a low roof so yeah, yeah. if there's chairs on the floor um you know if you're on the floor as well you, you, you know people are going to be you know if they want to watch they're going to be doing that so yeah, yeah, yeah. They came back. You've got to, to, you've got to get up above it, you see. Above it, yeah. Because you can't command the audience unless you can let, they can see you properly. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I always look down on my audience. You know that, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, yeah. And you remember Dorothy Squires telling me that. She said, don't use a hand mic, John, she said. Because when you're running about with a hand mic, they're not seeing you the other side. They say, stand in the middle and and demand them to look at you. Yeah. And she's right, you know. She is right. Um, so anyway, I, I got the message back saying, yes, we've got some stages um, if you do want roses, we don't have any roses here. Um, mm. We can get them delivered for you. Or maybe it's best to bring them up from Wales. I'm going, mm. roses? Did they mean risers? <laughs> so I went back to my email and I, and I said, <laughs> do you have any staging or drum risers? But instead of risers, 
it had you auto spell checked and said, Do you have any roses? I'm thinking, <laughs> so I had to email them back and say, Look, I'm really sorry. Although I do love flowers, it should have been risers, as in drum riser, rather than roses. Yeah, yeah, gotta yeah. Be, you've got to be careful, Johnny, with the with spell checking and spell. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, I mean, you, these things on phones, it, it changes your words because you think you've spelled it wrong. <laughs> and when you read it, so it makes a lot of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're writing in Welsh, look out. Oh my gosh, of course. Yeah, well, that changes everything, doesn't it? That's, uh, yeah. yeah. Have you got a Welsh spell checker on a phone, I wonder? I, I don't know if they have. I mean, I, I've, I've just sent an email to my agent in Welsh because she's a Welsh speaker. Right. And it does, it, it picks out a word and thinks it's English and changes it. Uh, so I've got to keep yeah. changing it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I suppose there must be one somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can write in any language on a computer, can't you? Yeah, you yeah, there's yeah. all the things in there. Yeah. I wonder if there's a Welsh one. There must be, you know. Yeah, maybe just. I'm going to look for it. I'm going to look yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, put it down near one of your choices of uh, yeah uh, okay so yeah well uh, so actually it's next tuesday so we we record this on a tuesday i won't be around next tuesday so we'll have to do it on wednesday i'll tell you how the gig went shall i yeah that'll be that'll be good yeah yeah, yeah. Do, do, can you get a few clips of it or oh that's an idea i mean i'm hoping you can stick it up. i'm hoping for some special guests i had invited john reed who used to be my manager john reed used to manage elton and, and queen but i have a yeah, lo- yeah. lovely message back saying he's in miami but he wishes me all the best. So I'm hoping there might be a, some some people I haven't seen for a very long time who come to yeah, the yeah, yeah. So, so, well, oh, good. Well, best of it, it? In fact, Four block, as they say. In fact, I might be the least well-known person in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life, that, Johnny. Story of my life. But you see, you've got Steve on there with you, and who yeah. else? You could have a quiet of things. Uh, on, on video. On video. Elton will all be right. there, BGs, Bonnie Tyler, yeah, Ali Jones, City of Prague, Philharmonic Orchestra, all on video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. good. All right. Well, uh, All right. Have, a, have a great time. Give Emily uh, our love as well. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll see you next Wednesday, if not, you know, and you, we can have some chat about your show. Yeah, fantastic. So, so just a reminder, not that I'm plugging it, but I've got a show at All Souls Langham Place as part of Wales Week on Tuesday, the 27th of February. Details all on www.malpope.com. There we are. You always got to get a plug in, Johnny, haven't you? You've got to get the plugs in, like like uh, old Huey uh, Green would say, John, you only plugs in. And he said, get all the plugs in. You know? Get all the plugs in. <laughs> did I get all the plugs in? You did. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, it's goodbye yeah. from me, and it's Goodbye from me. Hey, <laughs> see you soon. See, see you next week. Bye. Bye.